So in this video, I'm going to show you how to select features and work with some of the table elements of a feature class. And I've got my feature class right over here. So you right click and you hit attribute table, then this will come up and we'll be able to see and select uh, all of our data. And we're going to do some sorting and filtering and things like that. So I just want to point out when I'm uh, clicking on these columns, you can see out here, I have the highlighted the item that I'm, I'm selecting changes, right? So this is one way for you to look around and, and grab some data. Um, also, we can actually zoom into the map and we could just click on one instance and then that should show a pop-up where we have all of the information uh, listed in here. We'll just have to scroll down and mess around with it, right? So let's get a little bit deeper into um, using this. So just like we can in Excel, let's go ahead. I'm going to um, sort descending by borough. So that way I should start off with state and island, which should be um, S. And so I'll have all of these items. If I click over here, I should see all of the state and island stuff. So I could kind of just sort around here. And as you can see, when I'm, when I'm selecting points, there are only the points that are in state and island. Um, also, let's go ahead, maybe we can do a, a custom sort, which is sort of like a filter. So let's say um, we'll get field um, borough. Let's go ahead and do also borough name. Let's do it on another field over here. Let's go ahead and say, I know what we'll do. We'll take the violation of the law. And we'll say that's a, um, a felony, or we'll just say descending. So now we have violations, and additionally, we should have state and island here. So we should have all the stuff for state and island sorted according to violation. So that's definitely a cool feature there. Additionally, if we want to see how this schema is constructed and what the types are, we can go right click on our feature class, go to design, click on fields, and then we'll be able to come in here and we'll see all the data types, all the field names and the formats and the length specifications for all of this data that we've brought in. And we can also change some of that if we want to.